All right, guys, good morning. All right, I wanna start this video on kind of what I got going on. Keep you guys in tune with what could occur and this, since this is kind of a learning channel, how people can get ideas how to do things. When I got, when I shot my clear coat, um, things that occur, can occur while you shoot clear coat and it all depends like in the area you, you live, where I live, my environment, where I live, usually it's like 100, 110 almost every day. So um, in clear coat, you have your hardener and sometimes you can get slow hardener and fast hardener. Well, in the environment I, I live in, um, the, only, the only one that was purchased at the time was a, a slow hardener. So I wanna tell you the difference between those, those products and how they can affect Okay, so I'm just giving you a better idea visually. So on this tank, when I shot the clear yesterday, it was coming out really good, but as it started to heat up, it's probably like 100 already around 8, no, around eight o'clock in the morning, already about 100 degrees already. So the chemical reaction, it started to dry and harden too fast, doesn't give enough time for the solvent inside of the clear coat to evaporate. So it starts leaving imitations in your clear coat. Well, for me, how I paint and how I like to work, I always go for perfection. I'm never satisfied with something that doesn't come out right. So it's not the end of the world. I love doing this. I love not just painting. I'm gonna get more into different things as I progress and make more content. But, um, so my sides came out perfect with my, thank God, with the pinstripe and the, my, my lace came out good so i saved that masked off around it as you can see on both sides so it pretty much was just in them with if you guys ever start painting and you guys start shooting flake you don't always have to take it down all the way back to the still what i'm doing is since i it depends if you're mi mixing it with your base coat if you're mixing it with your base coat you want to go down to your base coat and start um start sanding down that base coat but if you shoot it in your your clear coat which mine i mixed it with the clear instead of the base so i didn't have to go down to base to start affecting that flake i'm on clear coat so usually you'll you'll start off with whatever grit you use to 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 start on um, taking that taking that imitation off of the gas tank itself so there's certain grids for um each step in automotive paint and if you don't know, you can drop down in comments and I always can answer those questions. But to affect your clear coat or to restore clear coat, you wanna go with about 800 grit. So that's where I'm at right now. And I'm just hitting it with my sander. What I like to do is I like to stay away from these edges right here. Cause if you still got good inside of your, your paint job itself, you don't wanna affect it. So you try to stay higher it, higher than the, your actual baseline. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm staying away from this line and then I'll go by by hand and then my machine doesn't fit in certain areas like the front. So I'll get as much as I can and then whatever's not, I'll just get by hand. I'm not in a hurry for this. I got other things to do during while I do my, when I'm dropping content, so. But I'm just trying to make this VC right up in here too. That's what it looked like. I got my, it hardened way too fast because you know, once again, in the weather you, where you live at, if it's, it doesn't get up to 100 degrees like I do almost every day, then you pretty much won't be dealing with this, but you might wanna go with a fast hardener instead of a slow hardener. So um, yeah, just trying to give you guys understandings of when it comes down to automotive painting and things that can occur and it's not the end of the world. But mainly um, I wanted to make videos like this because people are starting to get into it and they, they occur situations or situations like that occur things you can do, how you can fix it. It's not a, I mean, if you're really into it, just take your time. If things do occur, try to fix the problem. If not, no biggie, you take it back down, you start all over. At the end of the day, you know, not everybody's perfect. Even shops themselves have to go through situations like this. They just probably don't promote it or put it out there. But for my content and my viewers, I wanna drop content that's realistic and if people could get understanding the correct ways to do things and if the things do occur like errors which they do all the time and no matter what line you're working in how to fix it how to go around it and yeah so pretty much i'm just gonna do all this 
all this black base I'm gonna pretty much light down and sand it like and then I'm gonna shoot another primer I'm gonna shoot primer all over it to just pretty much cover it all up then once I shoot my primer now that I'm doing this I'm explaining to you what I kind of got in mind because every time you go through an air there's always gonna be something positive as long as you attend to it so my next plans is I'm gonna go with the same same style but this time I'm gonna shoot the blue, my white on top of here right about in this area on top of the tank I'm gonna go with more detail I'm gonna go with pinstripes kind of coming curving in or sending around the gas lid itself and coming back down so I'm gonna add more detail to the top and I'm gonna, I'm gonna mimic it I'm still gonna shoot it the same way shoot the flake again I still like that look and then yeah once I get closer to being done I'll drop more content more videos on where I'm at but um just want to make another video for people out there that are getting into the automotive paint and this is all done out the garage man I never went to no school or nothing like that I did have a good um I did have a person that showed me the beginning steps from from there I, I kept on kept on focusing keep keep you know practice makes perfect keep staying at it and then eventually you just get it down get it down to your pattern and everything from there is just flows right in so this is not the only content that I'll be making for myself. I'm always going to be making them. Um, I still got more in mind and more planned and more in store. That just comes with more time and more progress. So thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, subscribe, and talk to you guys later.